afraid. We can't just leave Aurora like this. I can help. You gotta believe me. Come on. Let's go get her heart. You know, you're absolutely right. The Forbidden Mountain is through the forest. Come along. Follow us. After all, we wouldn't want you to get lost. The enchanted domain. Dominion. I, I kept saying domain. Wow. I feel like an idiot. This domain sounds so much better. We'll just call it Sleeping Beauty's place. Is there a chest over here? I think I got a place for a chest. Saving, saving. It's not 1.44 p.m. Oh, I should probably steal eight savings a little bit ago. And change the clock on this. It's actually 2.44. Well, I know what I'm doing after this session. I was gonna say, the last time I saved was like over an hour ago. Because it was 1.15, but like, last time I saved. That's what it said. But it was actually 2.15. It's amazing how time works. High Potion. Hoping this boss, like, I wonder who what the boss is. I don't think I'm gonna be fighting Maleficent. Uh, I think, yeah, I remember the last time we fought out uh, the giant, like, spinning wheel or. No. Yeah, like, the, the spinning wheel or something. I don't know. It was a Mirage Arena boss as well, I believe. Because, uh, Maleficent. Last, not that I think about it, Lifson's still alive in the current storyline. Well, I mean, I haven't seen Recoded or Dream Job Distance yet. And, but when I left, when I played Kingdom Hearts 2, she, she didn't... She, I think she took over the castle at that world that never was. I don't know if she'll be in the next game. I mean, she probably will. I mean, it kind of left her alive. Her and Pete. Pete was kind of an asshole through that whole game. I don't want to fight all these things so I can have a little higher bit levels. I hope they actually do make a 3D Dream Drop Distance remake. Because I'm definitely going to be playing through that. Uh, hopefully they announce it like E3 2015. I know Kingdom Hearts 3 was gonna be at E3. Um, I think I'm gonna probably live stream me watching E3 2015, which probably a lot of people will do. Uh, I'm pro but I think I'm only really gonna watch the PlayStation conference and or, like I don't know actually, probably the Square Enix conference as well. Um, like anything that I really care about. I might watch Ubisoft for Assassin's Creed, but I don't know. Because for Ubisoft, I might, I'm just gonna have to wait till Assassin's Creed shows up, and it might not be the first thing. It might, it might be the last thing. I don't really want to sit through like, because the only really Ubisoft games I actually like is Assassin's Creed, and I don't really play Far Cry or 
like uh, whatever the hell Raymond Legends or whatever the hell else they make. Um, and also I, I think I want to do something cool with uh, Kingdom Hearts Recoded on this. Like I, I want to do instead of like a Let's Play, since it's all cutscenes, I might do like a Let's Watch, where I kind of just sit down and I watch, and I kind of react to what I'm watching with Kingdom Hearts Recoded. Like, if you get what I'm saying, like, it's pretty much, you know, you're watching me react to, like, I don't know. Something I just wanted to do. I'm gonna need to get better headphones for, like, because these ones are, like, kind of starting to, like, die. I could just feel it. Might just need battery changes though, so. I, I just save, so I don't think I need to save. I'm liking the worlds in this game. They're like, they're very, like. No, I don't think any of the worlds are the same as. As in, um. The other Kingdom Hearts game besides Olympus Coliseum, which is in, I believe, in every Kingdom Hearts game besides the newest one, which is Dream Drop Distance. Which is weird. I don't know why they would do that. Maybe they're saving a little story for a... Uh... I think that it's I think it's definitely probably going to be in Kingdom Hearts 3 being, like, in the demo for E3 2013 or, or whenever they showed the gameplay for it. There was the Rock Titan, and yeah. I also heard about that, like, cancelled a Kingdom Hearts game, Fragmented Keys or something, which I probably, I would have played if I had the chance, because it was, like, I think it was going to be, like, an iOS game, and I have a Windows phone, but, uh, I heard there was going to be, like, Frozen in there, and Wreck-It Ralph, and Star Wars, so that kind of, like, if I had the ability to play it, I would probably play it, um, but it, it just got cancelled, so... I don't know, so that kind of gives me hope that those worlds might actually be in Kingdom Hearts 3 now that it was kind of just announced. I hope Marvel is actually not in Kingdom Hearts 3, because I feel like it wouldn't really fit. The one thing with Kingdom Hearts 3 is that I'm kind of scared about is that they don't really, like, like that it fails. That if Kingdom Hearts 3 fails, then probably my dreams will be crushed, and... But it, I'm not saying it's going to, because it looks like it's on a good route, but uh, I'm just hoping it does really good. And if, like, I hope, I just hope it doesn't disappoint me, which, I mean, you know, I have complete trust with Square Enix and Disney Interactive or who the hell works on this game. I have complete trust, so, uh, hopefully I'm not let down, which I'm not saying I will, but there's that one possibility where they could just mess up. I also had an idea for a Kingdom Hearts game where, um, instead of Disney movies, like, they use DreamWorks movies, like, uh, they, how to Train Your Dragon and Kung Fu Panda. Like, they should do a deal with DreamWorks and do that kind of a deal. Which I would think I would be awesome. Because I recently just watched How to Train Your Dragon 2 and that movie was amazing. Like, I didn't know it would be that good. Like, I heard it was good, but I didn't know it would be that good. Um, it did just lose in the Academy Awards, though, which... I mean, I liked Big Hero 6, like, so much. Also, and the Lego movie is really good. Even though it wasn't actually nominated the Lego movie. Um, but, uh, I think How to Train Your Dragon might have been better than Big Hero 6. But, uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not sad that Big Hero 6 won. I, I really like Big Hero 6. I, I mean, Big Hero 6 definitely deserves the, the award. Just felt How to Train Your Dragon 2 was maybe a little bit better. A little bit. Both movies were really good. Looks like we're stuck. This must be Maleficent's doing. I know. Shall we? Yep. And what I said before with Marvel, um, 
that like Marvel shouldn't be in Kingdom Hearts. Big Hero Six is a Marvel like franchise, so they could do that world instead of just putting like Iron Man and stuff. They could do Big Hero Six, which I would be totally okay with. It'd be awesome. All right, so let's go confront Maleficent. things. Warthogs. Oh, pigs. Oh, this is cool. These are like Disney like enemies. I think. I hope. That's pretty cool. I don't know. If, do they have like instead of bosses did they have like regular like instead of heartless they had like um actual Disney like enemies? I'm trying to think if they actually had those in the games. Probably did. For like specific worlds. Oh, I leveled up again. Cure. Oh, sweet. I think I might actually need that. Uh, I have potions, so I don't think I need it right like right away. But when I get another command uh, deck opening, definitely putting cure in there. get why the little wizard ladies don't uh the witches or fairies whatever the hell they're called don't use their magic on them i mean they just took down a whole guarded wall before yeah see these are like disney uh uh characters instead of just regular like unversed or heartless they actually had disney enemies which is cool i don't know if they did they have them Previous game, they probably did. They probably had like. I'm trying to think, man. Did they? Um, no, I actually don't think they had regular Disney enemies. Sweet Surge. Fever Pitch. I don't know why I keep calling it Surge. It's the name of the attack. Mm. Oh, I have to defeat like all these things. from this area. Nope. Alright. Should, should have probably checked for chests, but I think I'll live. What the hell is this? What? Huh. 
This is odd. There. A lot of these like things. Jesus. This way. It's another maze. What the hell? Someone's like screaming downstairs. Sorry if you hear that. I wish I had like soundproof walls or something. That'd be pretty cool. Was I just called? Alright, I'm gonna go find out that. Alright, well, I'm back. Uh, I think I'm going somewhere in a little bit, so I'm gonna have to end this session soon. I need to get back to a save point. Uh, where's the exit? What? Is it blocking the exit? time for you right now. I need to end the session. Alright. We need to find a safe point. We can continue this later. Move. These guys have nothing on me. Maleficent's Throne. Right, there is chests in here. Is there a save point in this area? I don't think so. Really, am I gonna have to like, when I come back, am I gonna have to like walk all the way back? There's people outside my door screaming. Where's the save area? Oh my god, I can't find it. I know there were, I thought there was somewhere close, but. Save area, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna have an adventure back next session. I probably like passed the save point at this point. Alright, 
here we go. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this session. I'm going to be back with more Ventus after this. Um, hopefully we'll get uh, the Enchanted Domain done and then we'll uh, do some more stuff. Yay! Kingdom Hearts, yay! Birth by Sleep, yay! Final Mix, yay! Save complete, yay! Alright, well... I guess see you guys next time. Accessing system storage, don't turn off the power, and uh, goodbye. <laughs>